this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment and today I wanted to talk a little bit about sketchbook cur curation. Um, designing and putting together a sketchbook can be as easy as just opening it up and drawing whatever you want whenever you feel like it with whatever supplies you're in the mood for and just flipping the page and going to the next one. It could be that simple, it doesn't have to be um, a deep thought, it doesn't, you don't have to get hung up on the details if that's not something you're interested in. If you are interested in a more difficult challenge or adding another layer of interest to your sketchbook, think about its overall design and how you line up your subject matter and what that looks like. For example, um, I'm going to go through a few of my different sketchbooks and point out things. So this one is from 2021 and I did watercolor pencil. This is a moleskin watercolor and this is myth mythical creatures and botanicals. So I paired a mythical creature with a plant and I tried to have them relate a little bit in name because I don't, these mythical creatures don't exist. So I get to make it up as I go along, but I have a repeating pattern. So these are the Museum Aquel Carandash, and these are Uniball Signo Metallic. So this is Phoenix, and the plant is called Ash, okay? This is pink. This is a troll with rock rose, okay? Get the connotation. This is blue. This is an elf, and this is elf aloe blue. This is purple. It's a repeating pattern. So we have a witch with witch hazel, pink, Unicorn and horn tree, blue, purple, centaur with apples. This is um, a devil with devil's ivy. I mean, all ivy is a devil if you ask me. Pink, this is leprechaun and clover, blue. This is a basculist, and this is lizard's tail. It's a plant, purple. So I have a repeating pattern of pink, blue, purple. Hold on, let me pause this real quick. Sorry about that. Um, a shout out to our first responders. We love you, thank you very much. And again, I apologize for any background noise. It's something I cannot control. And I'm trying to do my recordings in between people doing lawn care and lawn work. I live where the huge trees are and when those get cut and trimmed, which they do in months like these before the rain starts, it's really, really loud. So you see the repeating pattern. Here's a hippogriff with hawkweed. Kappa, turtle vine, so you get the repeating color, right? Here's a Kelpie with horse hair, okay. In this sketchbook I did, um, this was my Vlogtober for 2023. And what I did with this one, what I attempted to do with this one was two different things. So, my birds alternate facing left to right, every other page, and I have some sort of chest up and then I try and create a full. So this is to the left, this is to the right. Left, right, left, right. And I tried to include a whole bird every other one. So left, right, left, right. Okay, you see my patterning. This is my curated design of my sketchbook with my illustrations, okay? All right. When I did um, December in 2022, all my birds face to the right. They are all in the same pilot pen. Only the backgrounds are different. The background is a graphite stick with um, metallic ink. All my birds face the same direction. It gives an overall cohesion to this sketchbook. That is my arching theme, is the birds are the same color as the cover. Okay. That is how I design and curate a sketchbook. I made a list of, I don't know, 80 birds, and then I just picked the bird I was in the mood for, and I only needed like 48 for this sketchbook. So, that's what that design looks like. Here's one where the subject matter was in a very specific order. So the repeating pattern is the background. So for March of the Robots, um, I did sort of my environmental take 
on what it would look like if um, the animals that were critically endangered or just threatened went away. So this is from 2022. Um, this is dedicated to the last 10 vaquita. I don't know that there are even 10 left anymore. It's a very specific porpoise. Okay, so I didn't, I could not choose the order of my subject matter. This order of my subject matter starts out with the most critically endangered and goes all the way through to newly threatened, okay? But what I could control is sort of the background pieces. So this is my elephant and I have sort of gears. I have circuitry. I have pulleys, I have binary numbers, then I have sort of circles. And then it goes back to um, the gears, circuitry, pulleys, binary numbers, circles, gears, circuitry, pulleys, binary numbers, circles. So you see this is on a repeating pattern, which gives it an overall cohesion to this one sketchbook. This whole sketchbook looks like it belongs together. All the illustrations belong together. Even though some of these are mammals, some of these, you know, are aquatic, they all flow and go together because the background is on a repeating pattern that doesn't change, okay? And that's how I unified this sketchbook and curated it. So this is um, watercolor with a layer, layer of colored pencil on top, and then pen and ink background. Okay. Here's another December. This is a, oh, this was a Strathmore 500 soft cover. This is um, from an Etsy shop. So for this one, it's very specific. I have part of a bird on the left, the whole bird on the right. Part on the left, hole on the right. Part, hole. Part, hole. So even though the birds are different every page, and I just went through and randomly chose birds I was in the mood for. So I had a huge list, and that's how I did this one. Um, some of these are national birds. Some of these are just birds I love. I try to include as much. Now, with things with long legs, um, if I were to include the whole the whole bird, the bird would be really small. And I wanted my birds roughly similar sizes. Oh, you just love this bird. Oh my god, I can't. Okay, birds of Africa, people. So again, I cut off the legs a little bit to include as much of the whole bird as I could. Um, the feet are too important on the blue-footed booby from the Galapagos Islands. Did you see the theme? Like part and a whole? This is the very end page. So... That is the design of this sketchbook, and that is how I kept it cohesive. Um, when I did the mushrooms, this is a Lectrum A6, this is just all polychromos colored pencil. What I did was I made a uh, list of colors. I had purple, pink, blue, orange, yellow, green, and then I would tally how many mushrooms I've done per color to make sure that I include a full rainbow's worth I don't have too many just plain brown mushrooms. I don't have too many blue ones, but lack purple. And again, there aren't a lot in some of the colors, but I wanted to make sure that I included as many of those as possible to keep this interesting. And visually, I tallied the numbers for the colors to make sure that I had more blues, that I added more yellows. So this looks more dynamic and more colorful. I kept that notes. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of notes. So for the sketchbook for this month, um, it's taken shape in my mind. I ha was trying to be more loose with it, but again, part of me, and it could be my design degree, is like, okay, we need to curate this. We need to have an overall arching theme. We need a repeating pattern. We need to keep it interesting. So <laughs> I know it sounds like a lot, huh? But if you're bored in your sketchbooks and you're tired of grabbing and going and you want to try some harder things, these are the harder things. So I made notes. Um, this is an old archer and olive. It's a snake. I don't think they have this one anymore. But I have a repeating pattern. So I'm doing a leaf, some sort of bark wood, flower, plant, um, fruit. And then it goes leaf, bark, flower, plant, fruit. That is my order, every five. And then 
The tenth one is going to be something non-botanical. So an insect, um, a mollusk, a bird, an arachnid. I'm not sure. I just found a caterpillar in the yard. So I may do a caterpillar today. Um, but that is my repeating pattern to keep this cohesive. And I have, <laughs> I've done enough now. I've done about um, seven or eight of them in here. Again, I have to double up because there's 48 pages and there's only 31 days in October. That at this point, um, all my things are going to be actual size. <laughs> so I either include a portion of it because it goes off the page or I include the whole thing. So for example, let me find, this is Garden Lobelia. Here is my Garden Lobelia. Okay, it's currently sitting in my watercolor cup, <laughs> but this is the actual size. So it's a really fun drawing things to size. This is a challenge I've never done before. Plus I'm doing sketches. Now my composition sketches are all on the left. There's always four. And then the colors I use for the plant are down here. So every, you know what to expect on every page. It's going to, there's going to be labeling. It's going to be actual size. There's going to be composition things, one I chose from, and the colors. So everything flows. There is cohesion <laughs> to my pomegranate. And this is what I'm going to be doing today. So this is my 10th one. This is uh, my, actually my 11th. So I've done 10. And this one's going to be something surprising that isn't botanical. And it's going to be a nod to some of my other sketchbooks. So that is the patterning. That is how I am curating this sketchbook. I hope this makes sense. I hope this gave you some ideas. You can either do repeating patterns in the background. You can have the cohesion be one color you carry out through every single illustration in your book. So this green, I could have put this green and snuck it in to every single drawing and every single topic matter of every page. If I chose to, I didn't, but um, <laughs> I'm just using this one up and it's green is botanical. That's as deep as this one gets. Um, for like I did with the animals, you can have them facing the same direction on every single page. You can have them opposing, you can have pieces, parts. If everything is life cycle, if um, every fifth one is life cycle, it's how you design your pages. Um, and some, in some sketchbooks, I've literally drawn out the little rectangles for the pages and labeled what I was doing to be very, very specific. Um, I don't have every single one picked and planned out because I plan on going for a lot of walks to pick up the leaves. Um, my vlog <laughs> for Vlogtober is Arching Themes. So it's gonna be books every Friday. Um, I'm going to do my a digital microscope on Saturdays. There's gonna be time lapses on Sundays. Um, I plan on drawing outside on Wednesdays. It's very, very strategic. And it gives an overall cohesion when it, patterns repeat. There's strength and repetition. It is one of the art and design elements when you look at this. So when you think about repetition, you think about pattern, these things really, really help when you go to add these to your sketchbook. Even if you're not patterning the same design on every single page, um, maybe you're doing botanicals, but you wanna include your cat or a paw print on every single page. That is something you can do that's sort of a repetition that helps with the overall design, the harmony, um, its emphasis, its, you know, um, it's the balance of this sketchbook, the curation of your sketchbooks, how you go to do all your different projects. If you have sort of a theme, if you make notes, if you make sure things, you know, <laughs> I, I get that my notes are an absolute mess, but it really, really helps my brain and it helps when the project is done and complete, I can look back and go, oh yeah, that is really organized. Oh, that's really nice. That makes sense. Um, I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some ideas. Uh, if you have any questions or thoughts, please drop them in the description box below, or you can email me at pencilandpigment at gmail.com. I get back to emails within oh, 48 hours-ish. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.
Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-